So few things are more annoyable than spam emails, but how dangerous can they be to your personal information? Just as dangerous as this could be in your kitchen mm, if you're Chris lovely or I. spam. <laughs> well, joining us now, Stan Prager from Go Geeks in East Longmeadow to tell us more as he joins us every Friday. With Stan, nice props. to see you. And yes. I wonder if the spam company is upset that their product has become the nickname for junk email. I, I, I don't know. My first thought actually wasn't the food. My first thought was the Monty Python song, Spam, Spam, Spam. spam, spam. spam exactly. Spam. So yeah, way, before, way, before time, <laughs> way before your time. Way before your time. I don't know that. But, so but anyway, go. but yeah, I couldn't resist bringing a, a prop. And uh, the thing is, is that uh, about spam is, is that anyone who has email, Assuming that you have a friend, you're gonna have like a ton oh. of of. Uh, he said. Have, he said before it wasn't for spam. <laughs> for spam I yeah. 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 And so. you know, kind of yeah. facetious, but mostly I would say a good percentage of the email I get is Ooh. what you'd call spam. Yes, exactly. So and and you know, there's a lot of people call anything that they don't want coming to them as spam, and that's not necessarily true. So if you get like a hundred emails from a department store that you signed up with, and oh we've all had this happen, goodness. right? Yes. But so that's many that's not spam. That's just you know you want to. Get off that list, obviously, mm -hmm. and those you can unsubscribe from. That's legitimate to unsubscribe from. But what, what real spam is is spam is, is things that come to you that are offering you something that's fraudulent. Okay, and okay. spam is not only annoying but it's very dangerous. And we have a lot of com computers come in to go geeks that are infected because of people acting on things in their spam email. There's two things that can happen. Okay, okay. one is what we call phishing, okay. not the kind with real fish. Like, or like real spam. P-H okay. fishing. Yes, exactly. Okay. That's right, like the band. Uh, so fishing, again, showing, again, you. showing your age. Actually, yeah. you know exactly. that one, though. That. You know that one? Oh, Great. I thought you were talking about bad fish. No, yeah. no, 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 no. It's it's kind of a... Anyway, and anyway, band. anyway, oh, yes, that's okay, it. But, but, in, but in any event, so phishing email is attempting to get you to click on a link to give you information. Like for instance, I've had a bunch come that I brought in some examples, oh, but great. but like a good one would be we talked about IRS a couple of weeks ago. Oh, Here's yeah. one from the IRS saying that they've got a tax return from from us for with a six thousand dollar refund. Wow, wow, lucky! I know, huh? Who <laughs> wouldn't <laughs> open that? Click da download your tax report invoice. So when you click on that, you're going to deliver malware into your system. Okay, you're going to get infected. You mm -hmm. could potentially get something really serious like one of these encryption viruses or what have you so you don't want to do that okay, okay. That, so that's one way to go okay and there's also ones that mimic your bank and you know they look very legitimate those are the dangerous ones yes. the ones that look like legitimate email but are not exactly when you click on the link by the way you typically always go to a website that is an exact duplicate of the official website so you're entering your 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 banking online banking uh, mm -hmm. info and it looks just like people's or Bank of America or United but in fact it isn't those are the worst, okay? So, it, you know, there's that, that's phishing, and then there's the other one is downloading viruses and malware onto your system. Okay. What you want to do is make sure that you're not acting on any of these. So, you know, some of the other ones you might get are, there's a, a we've got a gift for you, $4,934. Uh, you know, if you do this, if you're appreciating the survey. This one looks like it comes from was, Walmart. That looks yeah. legit. Yes, exactly. There's even the thing about Sam Walton on the bottom. Hmm. One way you could tell it's spam, by the way, is to look at the, who it came from. Okay. okay. It, it, it's coming from a, an email that doesn't have anything to do with Walmart. That's not so. always a legitimate thing to do because they can mask it. They, they can. They can. But that's one tip off for okay. you. Okay. But, you know, typically, if you're not, why would Walmart be sending you this thing if you don't shop at Walmart? Because okay? you're just a good person. Because you're just a good person. So, so, first of all, never click on links in spam. Never uh, click on attachments in spam mm -hmm. and never hit unsubscribe. We mentioned earlier, okay? So if you don't want to receive any more emails from Old Navy or Victoria's Secret, it's safe to unsubscribe, okay? okay. But oh. it is not safe to unsubscribe from one of these. And, and at least one of these has that option on the bottom where it says if you don't want to receive any more, click on this and unsubscribe. So then you download the malware? Not necessarily, but what happens if you hit unsubscribe is you've legitimized your email. In other words, you've told them this is real. Because this is a shotgun approach. They're sending this out to billions of people, okay? Ah. But now they know Chris Pisano's email is real. Now you're going to get 10 times, maybe 100 times of the amount of spam you got before because they know you're real. Feels like that might have happened to me before. Yeah, I think it's so, happened yeah. to many people. Yeah. Ha and you only have to fall for it once. That's true. Okay? It only so takes one time. What, so what can you do? Let's say this happens to you. What can you do? So one thing that you can do that everyone should do if you're getting spammed to death, get yourself another email. It doesn't mean you have to get rid of your old email, right. but if you've got that Yahoo or AOL email that's just 100 spam messages a day, mm -hmm. get yourself a new Gmail. They're free, okay, or something else out there, MSN, whatever. 
You can check the other one, but let all the important people know this is my new email, and don't use it for anything except your actual important personal or business contacts. Mm -hmm. Don't use it for subscribing, and don't use it for rebates and things like that. You use that. Let that spam to death one. You can keep it, but you don't need to check it every day. Now. Okay, that's one. Anything else we need to do? I think it's really important that you just look at the thing before you click on it. I mean, that's common sense. Ninety percent of the issues that Always we have. Good advice. Ninety percent of the, the issues we have. Electric spam isn't as tasty. <laughs> I'm going to have this for dinner tonight. Thanks, Sam. It's a real treat. Is this our trick or treat? That was a great exclamation point, by the way. <laughs> yeah, we're on running the, out of time. On the show. So that was terrific. I got to so, say, quit yeah, the break. Trick, trick or treat. Enjoy that. <laughs> All right, Sam. Always a